The order of service is subject to change according to the Holy Spirit. So just please be prepared. Our announcements are as follows. On tomorrow evening, Berkeley County School District will have their budget hearing beginning at 5 p.m. And afterwards, there will be a school board meeting immediately afterwards at 6.30. Please view live stream if you're not able to attend at www.bcsdschools.net. Our vacation Bible study school will begin tomorrow evening and ending on Friday, beginning at 6 and ending at 8. We're asking all ages to attend. Wednesday, we will have our food bank free food giveaway from 12 to 3. Uh, thank you in advance, all Redeemer RE Church family members, for your $40 contributions to our building fund. Thank you for seeing the vision together. Deliverance of All Sins Outreach Ministries presents July 21st through July 23rd. Join Pastor Jeanette Middleton, Greater Glory Revival, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord, and in this place I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. This will be featuring on Friday night, Bishop Anna Smalls, beginning at 7, Saturday, Apostle D. Damalo Lawrence, beginning at 7, and on Sunday, Apostle Crystal Caldwell, beginning at 12, and this will be held on 409 McGrew Lane, Atlanta, South Carolina. We're glad that you're here with us today and please enjoy the service. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Work for the Father, work for the Son, work for the Holy Spirit. Put your hands together and get the Lord and get back to work. I didn't say give me a hand clap of praise. I said put your hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise.
and for the glory that I may turn from us all those evils that we justly have deserved and grant. That in all our trouble we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, evermore so be in holiness and pureness of living, to thy honor and glory, through our only leader and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, we want to call to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered in thy name, that will grant their request, fulfill in our word, desires and petitions thy servants that may be most excellent for them, greatness in the world now that thy truth and the world to come everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.
perfect and we all sin and come short. And it takes a village to raise a child. So we all need support. Because the support and bond of a family will never break, we know that he will never put more on us than we can't take. They say a family that prays together stays together. Well, if we all pray together, then this church home shall stay together and live as one body of Christ. Because if we remember, he gave his son the ultimate sacrifice. If we can make that effort, we can stay well grounded because the devil is lurking for souls he has yet founded. And he does whatever it takes, even goes to the extreme. But having as much faith as a mustard seed is all we need. And believe in him, as stated in John 3.16, with no other gods before him, that's Exodus 20 and 3, a friend is supposed to have your back to the very end, and family is supposed to be there through thick and thin. They say blood is thicker than water, so with God on our sides, we shall never thirst again, because it was his blood that we shared on this day of family and friends. All right. Who allowed God to use her to proclaim the gospel? 
like I said, her degrees and everything are fully in order. But most of all, she is a, she is a disciplined Christian who yes. loves evangelists, who loves to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. I can say personally that she is a very good supporter. She gives good advice. She is there to support you or to support me, I know. But most of all, she, as I said before, she loved the Lord. There is no foolishness with her. Every time she speaks, and I've spoken to me, she just gives me what thus says the Lord, so far instruction. And that means a lot to friends. Not only to friends, but to people who grew up together. And we, we, we know each other in and out. What I say today, tune your heart in to hear from the Lord. As our choir would come before us now, the next voice that you would hear, that of Evangelist Doris, Evangelist Doris Dancer, Amen. who will proclaim Amen. the word of God. Amen. 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 I don't want to
And she says, I want you to speak, Sister Doris. And, and I was just telling her no. And God said, oh, really? Said, oh, really? He said, that day, and I, I was sitting down and I was doing something, and he said, Vanessa said, I don't want to hear no. And I said, what do you mean you don't want to hear no? Just like that. God said, I see you. And if I Hey, 
disobedient to God. You were disobedient to God. So, and, and, and he expanded out and he took all the fine spoil that he had. And, and, and he kept it for himself. This anger is God. See, we don't want to angry God. We don't want to angry God. So, 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 so Samuel came in. God called Samuel and said, come on, Samuel, come on back to me. I can't have this man to be king over these people no more. He said, I don't want him no more. He's disobedient. He's not listening to what I tell him to do.
So God, God will forgive him. But many times David went out there. And Jonathan, I'm going to bring this in. And Jonathan then said, I am your friend, David. I'll be your friend until the end. You are my friend just like I am. I mean, you are a close friend. That was Saul's son. Love David as his own. My Lord, God will give you favor. But God said, not so. His wife helped him to escape the window after that battle. But David will play the music. Because God allowed that spirit to come upon Saul. Because of the thing he done. And every time David would play the music, he would quiet down and got humble. There was something about that music was humble there. But a few minutes later, he was back in his brain to play again. But David said, I'm going to trust in the Lord. Oh. He took me to Saul's cloak. He could have killed Saul. But David said, God said, touch not his anointing. He said, Jack, you better leave him alone. Because you know what? God got his time. His time is going to come. I don't have to even touch him. A lot of times that when they needed him, or warned him, they were out there and they speak in the camp. God allowed Saul to go in a deep sleep. And all of the people with him. His six hundred men. God allowed them to go in the deep sleep. And David went in the camp and took his sword and they jumped off. Thank <laughs> you. 
people today, the children need you more than me. Yeah. I look at the situation now. This world is in a mess. Yeah. It's in a mess because the thing they show on television, they're showing you what you, they want your children to be. Yeah. Uh, but be careful how you let your kids look at all this stuff. Yeah. Because that spirit on these people. That spirit on these people. And this spirit will jump on your children. That's right. Read the word of God. Yeah. Lord, if you know Jesus, you've got a friend in him. 
to read my paper here. Um, I think I've addressed, it, addressed everyone here. But again, we want to say to everyone, our community, along with everyone here today, we thank you for your support over the years. Amen. And we look forward again on next year to see you um, here at Redeemer. Also, um, here today we have our sister Blandy. Yeah. Everybody remember yes. her husband. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When it was time for the parade, you don't have to worry about it. He, talk, he tell me, next is time for me to get ready. Yeah. And then I would go by his house and he had everything laid out and he tells me exactly which one is whatever. But he was always excited about the parade, and we thank God for him. God has called him home, but his legacy still lives on. And we thank God for him. And we thank God for him. We along with our family. And without any further ado, as I said before, thank you so very much. And if there's anything that you do your best to the Redeemer Church family can do to you, please call us and let us know. Amen. At this time, our sister Kim Lily will give you some instructions on. Um, give you some instructions. <laughs> family and friends, family and friends. This is the fellowship portion that we want to bring any ready to go into. We just ask for some housekeeping rules. We're asking our Redeemer Church family to please allow our visitors and our family and friends to please be served first. But also for everyone, we have a gift for you. If you choose to take this gift, we have a photographer that's here. And if you would like your family photo taken, and you can get your picture instantly, you will need to remain inside. But we ask that the back, that the, it will be taken in the back section of the church. But if this is what you would like, this is a free gift to you. Um, we ask that you remain seated, and you will be directed by the photographer. Wave your hand, photographer. <laughs> and this is our gift from us to you so that you can have these memories. And we hope that you enjoy and we look for you to come back again next year, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Keep it on the books. Um, we will be, like I said, we will be instructed. Please be patient with us.
those that have put up with me being with them. Thank you so very much for all that you have done, especially to our senior and junior veteran. And, and we don't want you to leave. What I, what I really want before Brother Rumble to, to, to come, I know we're going to put you in an awkward position, but I, I want, while I finish say what I'm saying, all of those that are facing him right now, I want y'all to march to the side and come up here and clear that back in where he can have it clear with anyone to just follow his direction. Now, and the last thing, as he does do that, brother, Pope Landon, my cousin sister Jesse May, they're just as much part of this as Devon, along with you all. But they, they stuck by us, they, they guide us and lead us so very much and as Vanessa said, we want to thank you. Uh, and just me, I often think about uh, you and Aunt Uchi and, and uh, Sister William, the William, wife and all of them. You know, they don't have my mother foundation. And, and every now and then when I get a chance to go to them, I remember all of them. Um, most of them is gone, but if you are able, just give me a little tune of your singing. You will make my heart so happy. You will make my heart so happy. Uh, Please, nobody did. You got all the answers. We want to thank you. And especially to my nephew here. He came from my piano. And my, my niece, I have a all day long. Thank you all so very much. And after she had some, I think, Brother Sup, do you, do you want to give some direction? Or do you? And after she had some, Brother Sup would come and give me further direction, or we will move and, and be very clear. Okay, Sister Blank. Brother Lily, Larry, why you here? Those of you in your respective prisons. Amen. I appreciate it. Whatever you are doing, in respect. Praise God. And I'm delighted to be here. Amen. It's a great blessing to still be in the land of the living. Amen. We can praise God together. We can sing together. But I'm going to do just a little piece of the song. Sing. Sing. To God be the good. Blessed. I sure am. Jesus is mine. Yeah. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm going to
What are we going to do? We're going to get, well, first of all, if you don't want your own, a family photo or anything, you can leave. All right? If you're going to get your family photo, you're going to take one family at a time. We're going to sit you in the section here, in the back, get your, get your, um, your, your picture, send it until I give you the okay because somebody